This is a region with uniform magnetic field. A conducting rod with length L is being pulled to the left at a constant speed V along a frictionless conducting rail. There is a resistor with resistance R over here. Find A, the direction of the induced current in the loop. B, the induced EMF in the loop. C, the force required to pull the conducting bar at a constant speed V. And D, the electric field in the rod. For part A, first we look at the, whether the flux is changing or not, whether it's increasing or decreasing. When the bar gets pulled to the left, the area gets bigger, so the flux through the loop, I mean this part of the loop, increases. That means uh, the original magnetic field and the induced current's magnetic field, they have to be in the opposite directions. The original magnetic field goes into the paper, so the induced current's magnetic field has to come out of the paper. That means uh, if I use the right hand rule, my, my four fingers should go out of the paper inside the loop, so, so the current must flow counterclockwise. So the induced current is uh, counterclockwise. So the current goes uh, this way, up, that way, and down. That's the current. To find the induced EMF, I use the Faraday's law of induction, although the negative sign in this case is not important. So the induced EMF is a negative N times delta phi B over delta T. There is only one loop. And the, the delta phi B, phi B is B times A. And in this case, the magnetic field is a constant. It is not changing, so I can take the magnetic field out of the delta. So I get the delta A over delta T is the area change every second. The bar gets pulled to the left at speed V. In one second, the bar would be over here the distance traveled by the bar would be v. The distance traveled in one second is the speed. So the area change in one second would be this much. The area used to be this much, and then it's going to become that much. The changing area in that one second is this part. It is the height times the base, L times the base v. So the induced EMF is B times delta A over delta T is L times V. So the induced EMF is BLV. And you can actually memorize this because on the AP exam for the free response part, they give you this EMF equals BLV on the equation sheet. So it can be convenient for you to remember this and use this directly because you do not get the equation sheet for the multiple choices part, so it's a good idea for you to memorize it. Or, of course, you can just derive it like this if you choose not to memorize it. Now let's look at the pulling force to keep pulling this rod at a constant velocity. Constant velocity means uh, acceleration is zero, the net force is zero. The reason why we have to exert a force to pull is because uh, whenever we are changing the magnetic flux, we encounter a magnetic resistance force. So the pulling force has to overcome the magnetic resistance force. The pulling force must equal to the magnetic resistance force, and they must be in the opposite directions. The bar is being pulled to the left, so the magnetic resistance force would go to the right, and the pulling force would go to the left. Of course, we know that the magnetic resistance force happens because there is an induced current in the magnetic field. So we can also find this direction using L cross B. The force goes that way. But we know since this is going to be a resistant force, it has to be in the opposite direction to the velocity. Now let's find the force. This force comes from the current being inside the magnetic field, so the force is ILB. The current in the loop 
is the EMF divided by the resistance R. And the EMF is BLV. So this is the pulling force. So I can just simplify this. I'll get B squared L squared V over resistance. And that's the pulling force. Now let's find the electric field in the rod. If this rod is uniform, the electric field in the rod would be uniform. That means that we can use V equals to ED. This is for uniform electric field. The voltage is this EMF, BLV. The electric field is what we're looking for. Now, the current, the positive charges, gets pushed down this way. So the electric field must go down this way, and uh, the distance would be the L. So D is the L. Therefore, I can cancel the L's. The electric field would be B times V. And this is a downward direction electric field. Another way to find this electric field is to consider the force that's pushing the charges around to produce this induced current. There are free charges inside the rod, free electrons. They, when the bar gets pulled to the left, the free electrons would move to the left and they would move inside this uh, magnetic field. So there is a magnetic force acting on the free charges. That's the QVB. So the electrons will get pushed up that way. The electrons flow this way the, when the induced current flows the other way. Electricity and magnetism are related. We can also consider this force as the electric force. The force that's pushing the electrons up that way is caused by the electric force, which is Q times E, because the charge is inside the electric field. And uh, this will be Q's cancel, we get the same thing, E equals to V times B, same as that.